and welcome back to H Vampires 2 100% opinionated civilization review as today we're reviewing the Portuguese a naval and gunpowder civilization part of the African Kingdom's campaign oh yes oh this is exciting isn't it ever okay as you can see they get almost everything except the gold shaft mining as for the university they are only missing arrow slits so your towers are gonna be a little bit weaker today and now for the blacksmith, it is absolutely overpowered. Now the siege workshop is missing heavy scorpion, siege ram, siege onager. Okay, so not a big deal. The castle has everything except hoardings. That's right. Only missing hoardings. Again, no one cares. Their monastery is actually pretty overpowered for an Iberian monastery. Actually, that's about the norm. I forgot about the Spanish for a second there. They're only missing illumination. Not a big deal. So, they get all the towers. They get all the walls. They get a fish trap, of course. That's great. And they get everything except a fast fire ship. Ooh, that irks me very much. That's the only thing I would really care to have. Their caravels aren't all that great. I'll be honest. They're sort of trash. Their stable is... Pretty bad. I will be completely honest. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to do this... Ooh, talk with your hands thing. But it's just cringing me out so bad. I'm not gonna do it. So I'm stopping right now. It lasted like a quarter of an episode. And it's never gonna happen again. Unless I feel like memeing out. Now that I said that, it's going to happen all the time. As for their barracks, they're missing squires. I don't like slow infantry, but I could live with that. Archery range. Good. No one cares about the heavy cab archer or the Parthian tactics. Now, for their perks. All units cost 15% less gold. I appreciate that very much, being a gold guy that I am. Ships plus 10% HP. That's good if you had fast fire ships. Sorry. Can build a Fotora in Imperial Age. So if you're too lazy to manage your economy, you can always just build like five of those and forget about it entirely. Although they are pretty expensive from what, from what I remember. Actually, they're not that expensive. I, re I digress. They're unique units. They have two, of course. The organ gun, which is a siege unit, it's fairly okay. And the caravel, which is trash. The organ gun, though it costs a little more, is fairly effective. I'll be honest. Now, unique text. Karak. Ships plus one slash plus one armor. Not bad. I don't like using ships, but, oh, I can love that. Arquebus Ballistics for Gunpowder Units. That's very nice. That is very nice. That might be the thing that saves them from mediocrity right there. Team bonus. Free cartography from Dark Age. Okay. And that just made it go down again. So, um, what can I say about the Portuguese? They're not a bad civ. Do I think they are better? Than certain civilizations I've already listed? Uh, not really. So they get a B. That's all. They're just not good enough to be great, and they're not bad enough to put in the mediocrity pool. So they're the mediocrity between mediocre and great. So they're good. There you go. They're mediocrely good. If that's how you pronounce grammar. Anyway. Leave your comments below on what you think of the Portuguese Empire, or, yeah, I guess it's an empire slash civilization, below in the comment section. Don't forget to smash like, comment, share, and the bell button to keep notified on whenever videos are posted to the channel. And don't forget to keep moving your hands and talking with your hands, because it not only cringes me out, but it absolutely makes me go annoyed. Yes, makes me go annoyed. I'll see you next time when we review the Saracens. Oh, boy. This one's going to get a solid D. I can already tell. I'll see you then. Peace.